New this morning, leaders of three North Texas school districts are joining a statewide effort to express concern about school finance reform on the brink of passing in the state legislature. Our political reporter Jack Fink is live at Dallas ISD headquarters where they just held a news conference. So, Jack, what do they have to say? Well, Russ, leaders of Dallas, Richardson, and Plano ISDs, along with many other school districts across North Texas and even statewide, say they are very concerned about a key part of the school finance reform bill being negotiated at the state capitol in Austin. Right now, the House and Senate are trying to hash out a compromise over differences in their versions of the bill. And school leaders are not happy about the Senate's plan for two reasons. One of them involves how the state comes up with funding formulas. Under the Senate plan, the state would make a change and use current year property values instead of prior year values. And school leaders say this would hurt, hurt most districts because they would receive less money under that scenario. They prefer the House version because it sticks with the prior year values. There are news conferences by school districts statewide today to send that message. We want to make sure that we are getting out there and having a larger voice than just talking to our local representatives whom we believe are listening to us. But I think we have to get to the lieutenant governor and the governor to be heard. Now, the school leaders say they also prefer the House version because it gives them more flexibility in giving raises to all employees and giving teachers incentive pay under the Senate plan. The teachers and librarians would receive an across-the-board $5,000 pay raise starting in the fall. Negotiations are continuing today. Live in Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. I'm Jack. Thanks. We'll see how that plays.